According to the National Alliance on Mental Illness, 64% of people report experiencing holiday depression around Christmas time, and it's a struggle that a lot of people in our region face every time December rolls around. Peyton Furtado spoke with a mental health professional about this, and Peyton, who exactly does this affect? Sydney, it could impact anyone. It can worsen pre-existing conditions for folks with diagnosed mental illness, and it can add new stressors to others. It's the most wonderful and stressful time of the year, and according to the National Alliance on Mental Illness, it can lead to heightened depression and anxiety. That expectation of everything comes together and, you know, the hallmark not, nothing against Hallmark <laughs> movies, but they sort of present a somewhat idealized picture and we never quite get there. Unrealistically high expectations plus stressors like financial struggles and a naughty and nice sized list of to do's can add up and lead to higher stress levels. I like to talk about stress as walking in a three or four foot pool of water and then all of a sudden I add another foot of water. This time of year is typically about being with the ones you love, but when families experience loss, the holidays can trigger bittersweet memories. The first holiday that I had after my mother passed away, I remembered and sort of almost every time something happened, I had to make bread for the first time because my mother always made bread. So it was almost like every time I had to do something about making bread, I was kind of brought face to face with that reality that my mother had passed away. Unfortunately, Williams says anxiety and depression around the holidays is common. The best way to combat it, he says self-talk, reminding yourself that one thing gone wrong does not automatically mean the day is ruined. And if you find yourself alone or sad, try and reach out to those you love. Maintain those connections and, and, and make more connections. And if you don't have anybody, uh, volunteer at a soup kitchen. I promise they'll be happy to talk to you. Williams also says this time of year he sometimes sees increases in self-harm and suicidal thoughts. If that sounds like you, please call one of these numbers on your screen. There is hope, there is support for you. All you have to do is reach out and someone will be able to help.